Hello everyone and welcome to another video. So today I want to do a quick video talking about how to import CSV points into Fusion. So this thumbnail I think tells the story pretty well. The idea is if you have a CSV file with a whole bunch of coordinate data and maybe you visualize this in MATLAB or something like that, but now what you want to do is get all of this information and all of this geometry imported into Fusion so that you can actually use it for uh, modeling. So that's the game plan. So it's actually a surprisingly simple idea. Let me just show you uh, an example of this. So I've got a couple of these files right here. And in fact, I'll show you where these came from. But you know, you can open up any of these CSVs and just take a look at this. And as you can see, it's just comma separated values. It either has full X, Y, Z information, or some of these only might have X and Y or just be a two dimensional object. But long story short, you might have a series of these files uh, which have geometry information or spatial information embedded in these CSV files. So, uh, for example, this file I'm staring at right here, let me go and pull this up. I have a little MATLAB script to just kind of plot this, and you can kind of see, maybe if I put these two next to each other, you can see this is just a drawing of a desk with some flowers. In fact, someone else made this, and we're going to talk about it and show you exactly where it comes from. I'll give him complete credit because we're actually going to use some of his work. But the idea now is, okay, if I've got all of this information, how do I get that? into Fusion. So I would basically like to take this three-dimensional data and get it plugged into Fusion over here so I can use it for modeling. So that's the game plan. So let me show you how to do that. So we're going to use a third-party add-in written by Hans Skellner. So I'll leave this URL in the description of the video. Um, he has an excellent GitHub page where he describes his add-in that he's made and shows how to use it. So this is all we're going to do is basically going to leverage it. So go ahead and it's a Git hub repo so go ahead and clone this or go ahead and uh, download the zip file and unzip it and what you're going to be able to see in fact is he has information about this he also has a link right here to this knowledge base article from fusion which tells you how to install or add these add-ins so notice here that what he has there's two kind of different objects in fusion there's a plugin and an add-in this is an add-in so we're going to want to make a note of that so that when we go and follow this link right here it takes you to this page and it shows you how to install an add-in and um, yeah that's really all we need to do so it's really quite simple I'll show you what it looks like I already gone ahead and cloned the repository so let me go ahead and pull that up all right here it is I went ahead and cloned that repository right here and if you go inside and take a look you'll see here are all of the files that we're going to need so uh, if we go back and follow the instructions on this website, it's really pretty simple. All you need to do is go ahead and here for an add-in, we need to just navigate to a very specific location on your hard drive. So let me pull that up on my side. That's right here. So again, just follow it. It's within this, you know, app data, Autodesk, Autodesk Fusion API add-ins. And right now mine is very empty. So it's pretty simple what we need to do. Let me put these two sets of folders on either side of the window. So on the left, these are the files we cloned down from Hans's repository. And on the right are the add-ins that Fusion is going to be looking for upon startup. So what we're gonna want to do is we're gonna want to create a folder on this side and call it whatever we would like to call this add-in. So I'm gonna keep this simple. I'm gonna keep, call it the same thing. I'm gonna call it import CSV points. Okay, so now I will copy all of these files into that import CSV points folder inside of the add-ins. There we go. And now let's go ahead and restart Fusion. All right, so let me show you that it's not ready for use yet. So if I come over here to insert, you'll notice there's no option to leverage that third-party utility to uh, import those CSV points yet via the add-in. So let's go ahead and add that to Fusion now. So to do that, we are gonna come over here to utilities, add-ins, and then scripts and add-ins. And here, remember, this was not a script, it was an add-in. So we need to come here to the add-in tab, and aha, look at it, here it is. This import CSV points that we just uh, added to that folder. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on the run on startup, and then let's go ahead and run. And now, check this out. It says the insert CSV points command has been added to the insert panel dropdown. So now, if I come back to our normal 
uh, sketch and our solid um, window bar. And we now come here to insert. Aha, look at this. Now we have the import CSV points option. So if I select that, I can play with some um, objects, right? I can pick what units, where it's going to go. Let's just go ahead and hit OK for now. And now it's going to go ahead and let us go ahead and, and uh, select a CSV file. So I think I put a couple of these examples. Again, if you come here, I'll leave a link to this um, in the video description, but I have a folder with all of these examples. So let's go take a look at a couple of these. In fact, maybe let's look at the one that we were just talking about, this, this box with vase and flower. So let's go ahead and open this. And this is going to take a little while because the geometry is a little complicated. And while we're waiting for that to load in, maybe what I will mention is these files are really nothing more than what Hans includes in his samples. So there are a series. He has a whole bunch of these different ones showing, you know, again, two dimensional objects, three dimensional objects, and then this complicated one. So I've just copied it. And again, I want to just give him credit because he's the one that made all of these. So I'm just trying to make this easier for everyone to access. But as you can see, this is going to import. And aha, look at this. This is looking pretty close. Um, and in fact, while we're waiting for this to import, let me pull up my MATLAB script. And we can just take a look at the examples and the differences next to one another. So remember, all this is doing right now is it's importing all of that 3D geometry into Fusion. So it's basically reading in all of these CSV points, right? You know, I don't know how many there are. I think there's a few hundred of these things. I don't know if I can scroll down easily. Boy, there's more than a few hundred. <laughs> there's there's over 5,000 points, right, which make up this geometry. And now we are just importing this here into Fusion. So it's looking pretty darn good. Uh, let's see. Aha, there we go. Look at this. And now we have this whole thing in Fusion. So we can now look at this, and we've got the geometry. And you can imagine that this is uh, extensible for a whole bunch of different other types of applications. So if you have a program or something like that that is outputting geometry. So for example, let me show you. I actually have um, a uh, little script. I'm trying to build a little shed. So I have a little script that is going to create some rafter dimensions so let me take a look at this so if you look here i've got this thing where this creates some coordinates for a rafter and i'm using this type of utility to basically be able to import these things into fusion and i can make parts now based on programmatically generated uh coordinates so again if you look at this now let me go ahead and uh take a look Oops, maybe I'll look at this from the side. Or you know what might be even easier? Let me just look at this sketch, because this is really what I imported using this utility. And you can see here that I've got this geometry of this rafter with bird's mouth cuts and whatnot, and I can programmatically create a CSV file and now use the import CSV points uh, functionality to import this into a sketch and then use it to create actual objects right and then i can use this to build bigger and bigger and bigger things so that i can use this right as parts of larger assemblies so this is pretty darn interesting and pretty darn fun um what i will maybe mention is uh while this thing is opening um i will mention that, that there's more functionality than just these points so uh, if you look at Hans's SDK, it's got all kinds of other information. You can do things like tubes and um, other types of geometry. So I just wanted to point that out before we go. So oh, finally it loads up. So now you can see this is the kind of thing that you can do. And I've got all these rafters now that I was able to include into my system using this import uh, CSV points. So again, pretty fun. Okay. So I will let everyone go ahead and, like I said, I would highly recommend check out Hans's uh, website or his Git repo. He's got a lot of information on how to use this as well as the different types of functionality that you've got. You've got more than just um, points. Like I said, here you go. You got some of these things. So it's a great utility and I highly recommend it. So I hope this was helpful. I think it's probably a great spot to leave it. Uh, I think I'll sign off and hopefully I'll catch you at a future video. All right. Bye, everyone.